This is the moment a Chinese Coast Guard ship used water cannon on a civilian vessel chartered by the Philippine Navy. It was one of two boats on a resupply mission to 2nd Thomas Shoal, where Filipino troops are stationed in a decommissioned Navy ship which was sunk nearly 25 years ago to stake their nation's claim in the South China Sea. Officials say both were blocked by China along with two Coast Guard vessels. The Philippine vessels were subjected to repeated water cannoning and continuous dangerous maneuvers by the Chinese Coast Guard and Chinese militia vessels, placing the lives of the crew of the Philippines vessels in danger, in violation of humanitarian and international law. In February, the Philippines said the Chinese Navy pointed a military-grade laser at Filipino sailors, causing temporary blindness. In the months following that incident, the two sides had at least two other close calls at sea. The Philippine Coast Guard says this is nothing new. But under President Ferdinand Marcos Jr., they're encouraged to publicize it. Marcos has pivoted back to a more U.S.-friendly foreign policy, allowing U.S. troops access to the country's bases, in sharp contrast with his predecessor, Rodrigo Duterte's pro-China stance. This is far from the first time the Philippines has accused China of harassing Filipino vessels in the South China Sea. Government leaders in Manila have already filed dozens of diplomatic protests against Beijing this year, and nearly 450 since 2020. The Chinese Coast Guard insists the Philippine vessels entered Chinese waters illegally. The Philippine Foreign Ministry has summoned the Chinese ambassador and says it will keep protesting as long as it has to. It's important for the Philippines to continually assert what is rightfully ours. And the policy of this government is very clear. As they said, not one inch of our territory should actually be handed over to, our, to China. Foreign allies like Japan, Australia and the European Union were quick to condemn China and stress the legally binding nature of a 2016 international ruling. That decision invalidated Beijing's sweeping claims in the South China Sea. It was based on the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, to which China is a signatory. The U.S. State Department has also stressed its commitment to defend its longtime ally if the need arises. Barnabilo Al Jazeera, Manila.